buddy buddy Bobberry here with new sprites because a lot of things have changed since the last time I uploaded. You know, because I never upload. Anyways, judging by the title, you as the viewer can already tell what this video is going to be. Yes indeed, this is the very first episode of the Fanfic Files, a potential new series I'm creating just to give my opinion on fanfictions from various different media that I have watched, read, or played which suggestions for more media for me to consume and fanfic suggestions are open. So if you would like to comment down any in the comment section, feel free to do so. Anyway, the first specimen to be reviewed here is a Hitalia fanfic called The Danish Slaughterhouse, written by Intrasul, Shul, Sul, Sol, I don't know language. On fanfiction.net and first published in November of 2012. Recommended to me by a friend who specifically told me not to read it. There will be spoilers in this video, so if you do want to read it first, go ahead. However, I am obligated to say that it is not for the faint of heart. There will be mention of the following triggers on the screen, so as I mentioned, if you're triggered by any of these things, then please refrain from reading it. If you don't care about spoilers, then carry on, I guess. But if you do, then skip to the timeline that I hopefully have listed on the screen. But if not, then feel free to yell at me. But also don't, because that hurts my feelings. Anyway, so, um, I did have something planned in my script that is worth around five pages of summary but I'm just gonna go ahead and wing it by saying all of the Nordics including Sealand are invited to stay with Denmark at a new mansion or whatever and slowly but surely they notice something is off. Lucas notices it first then Peter experiences it then Emil notices Tino and Berwald find out, and ultimately it leads to the big reveal of Denmark bringing them here in order to basically have this game of them basically hiding and running away from him for a week, and if he finds them, they get killed. They do. All except for Lucas. But anyway, so, my thoughts. I know that for a lot of the fandom who has read this fic, the extent that Denmark was out of character was really frustrating because it has been known that Denmark would pretty much do anything for his family, but to be honest, I kind of like the change. One of the happiest nation's character is flipped on its head and having him become someone who it is implied he was centuries ago is a very interesting concept to me and executed in a much riskier yet somehow more rewarding way than another fic that I had read a few years ago about if the countries had entered World War III. The story's characterization did not spare any sympathy for him and I can see how others were upset by this, though I liked the choice. It was out of character when compared to Denmark's canon characterization, but in real life, a situation like this is not so unlikely, especially considering real history and what nations had to deal with for so many centuries and what they had caused. Denmark in this story shows a part of humanity everyone wishes to avoid so much as mentioning. But it is far from impossible or unlikely for someone to break like this and relapse into old habits or even succumb to intrusive thoughts. The setup to me was also well done creating a false sense of security for the Nordics while the reader is given more and more hints about Denmark's true nature within the story that can't be discarded. Now the material itself was presented in a way that made it clear what exactly happened in the most gruesome scenes of the story, however it didn't outright state the events which I personally liked, as with such touchy topics it can be painful and incredibly difficult to read even for the most seasoned of horror viewers. The most terrifying, thrilling parts of the story had nothing to do with the shock value of trauma and detail, but rather how it was led up to and executed. Something that differentiates a good story with a good twist and one that is not so great is the value of viewing it again. With a good story, knowing of the twists and turns and how everything leads up to the final climactic moments doesn't negatively affect how it is perceived. 
and at times can even amp up the suspense and anticipation for something dreaded to happen. The Danish Slaughterhouse does this magnificently, whether the reader likes the main character change or not. While the second or third or fourth time reading it doesn't have that same surprise, the suspense, shock, and subtle hints leading up to certain parts of the story are made even better knowing that the sense of hope that the characters feel is in vain. Ultimately, I give this fic an 8 out of 10 because while the content was stomach turning to me, it was written really well. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and if you don't, remember tomorrow has so much more to offer and you are loved and worthy of only the best. Stay poppin' and I bid you adieu.